Alright guys, welcome to another vlog. It is a Saturday here in Australia. We have all of the kids with us today. We got Boston, Scarlett and Kobe because we got Princey with us. Um, he's basically my brother so it comes in under the rules. So my brother your brother? Pretty much. Do we, do we ever get rid of him? He's always here, isn't he? Yeah. He was and, uh, his, <laughs> and his mum is coming to stay with us. Because we Tomorrow. call, because we call her nanny. So they're basically family. But anyway, we yes. worked out why the 350Z alignment didn't feel uh, exactly like I hoped it would. Um, the caster was really low, so we are going to head back down there. Um, Adam's more than happy to get the car back on the alignment machine and sort out the caster. So 350Z runs seven degrees of caster standard. Um, and I usually run between like eight and nine degrees caster. And when I got the car back, I didn't even look at the paper he gave me, but this has five degrees of caster. And that's why when I was drifting it the other day doing the parking challenge, the car felt really weird. Um, it doesn't have as much rear grip when you have less caster because the caster helps force pressure onto the rear tires and gives you more grip on angle, which I didn't have. And uh, also the car wasn't self-centering um, nowhere near as fast as it usually would. So we're heading down there now. We're gonna drop the car off with him for an alignment. And then we're gonna head down to Mitch, the guy if you've been watching for a while with the V8 Hilux and he's also building a 350Z. We're heading down to see him and we are going to pick up a drift trike for Scarlet, which we are then gonna cut in half and connect it to her drift cart. Yeah, and hopefully eliminate this blowing fingers up with 48 volts. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. All right, join us today, guys, it's gonna be fun. Hey, what's happening, mate? What are you doing? Putting some wheel spacers on my Z. Oh, like you're actually doing Z stuff. Yeah. Oh. What, do you think I was a liar? No. Yeah. Oh, well, I don't lie. a little bit. The one that never was. S13 with a full cam spec cage and everything. Yeah, like, ready to be a racing car. Like the subframe and the whole front end bolts to roll cage, not to car anymore. <laughs> it's about as expensive as you can get. But uh, Mitch deals with big, big, big motors here. Bigger than uh, mine. Huh? We're getting this out of here this weekend. Hey, mate, how are you? And he's old man pulling, the one that explains he's even stupider than he is. If that, that's even possible. I'll learn on the dumb shit off him. You, I don't know, you do a fair share of your own dumb shit. <laughs> uh, we are going to go out in a plane with, uh, with him at some point. Today? I didn't bitch out last time. <laughs> I literally have 20 kids with me. Mm. <laughs> I can sit on the ground and watch. All right. So this is Mitch's Hilux. This is his seat time car that wasn't meant to go far. And this, for you, is not that far. Really? Nah, it's like a LS1. <laughs> LS1 with a big bloody carb or whatever it is out the bonnet. Yeah, big carby, big intake. Big carby out the bonnet. Electric water pump set up. PWR. PWR radiator. Peter Boy Radio is worth more than my entire 350Z. <laughs> and then he's obviously got my old um, arms in the front there. And Kirky. Yeah. Two Kirky seats. They, oh man, look, you've even got an Odyssey battery. Yeah. You've gone proper light. It was free. <laughs> it was out of the plane. It can only happen for so long. <laughs> it's out of his plane. He brought no, I'm just picking on his simple seat time car that has like a $500 battery in it and stuff. Yeah, because he said, I have it out of the plane. He goes, oh, I need that from your race car. You can have a new one. <laughs> <laughs> How the fuck do you sit in those seats without dying? Oh, they're comfy as. That would surprise you. Watch your ears, kiddos. Yeah, it's on headers. Ears, 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 bossy. Block your ears. Block your ears. Block your ears. It's about to start, it's going to be loud. Oh. That was anti Huh? That was Pete's anti wasn't it? That was very anti Bye, bye. 
Hey, should we put one of these in Daddy's convertible one? No, too loud. I haven't touched it, I've driven it once. So this is cool. Mitch has, for some reason, a... What were they called? What were super they called ute. when they were diesel? diesel. Super ute, I think. A diesel super ute. They started racing here in Australia. And the series, to be honest, was god awful. Because yeah. they were diesels. They really weren't fast or anything. But they basically, what, given one to you? Yeah, I'm sort of doing some R&D on it and then... Once the whole Rona deal slows down, we'll be full steam ahead getting the whole field of them. The so, same. ideally, they're trying to turn the diesel slow super utes into all... L are they going to all be LS? Or all is that LS, 6.2 litre crate engines with a, the, all the same cam and everything. Like a half decent cam, they'll be like... So, it'll be horsepower. back to what the like V8 super utes used to be, but a dual cab probably thing. Probably quicker, because these things, they reckon we're going to get a little bit lighter. Yeah. Gonna have about 100 more horsepower and they're bigger tyres and better brakes, so. Oh, these are the bl they're gonna be using the Yokohamas? Yeah, that's a what are they, 295 bar. or something. Two, yeah, 29 or 285. Yeah, right. 285. And big, like, supercar style brakes in there. A lot of bits See, about them is pretty serious. It's pretty wild. Oh, well, it's like yeah, proper, yeah. proper, isn't it? Full Motex and everything. Wow. That is rad. Look, it's no Raptor. Like. Nah, you can't jump them, but. No. Well, you give it a red eye go. Yeah, I never saw that. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, look how the suspension goes. The oh, yeah. cantilever suspension on yeah, it. Yeah, it's insane. Oh it's wow. Insane. Jesus Christ. They're not, they don't relate to normal utes at all. No. Nah. I, I thought they were just slapping, like lowering them and nah. racing them. No, nah, they're pretty half serious. Wow, that's kind of pretty, pretty sick. They're going to be good. They'll be good with like heaps of power. Good with the V8s. Yeah. You got it, bossy? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Pull gears. Next gear. Next gear, boss. Next gear and clutch it. What, you know what he's looking for? The handbrake. He's looking for the handbrake. <laughs> he's like, uh. There we go. Next gear, boss. That's it. Quick. It's just a hatchback, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this one's a good one. Hey. It's, only, it's only got a 12 volt battery. It's an actual go cut rear end, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It's an actual go cut that's just oh. been cut off there. I got Look at this fucking specimen. <laughs> And I can't blow me fucking fingers up. It's only 12 volt. <laughs> Where are we, mate? Well, we're at Macca's. We have a big trailer on the back. We're going to try and swing it through the drive through because I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Macca's drive through. Race car on the trailer. Squishy. Oh, are we can make it. Yeah, mate. She be. It's tight. <laughs> Made it. <laughs> <laughs> that's sick. Did a Happy meals boy. for the kiddos. Only scraped one gutter. That's not bad. Not bad. No, Nearly scraped bossy. another one. Yeah. Definitely turned wasn't in a paying bit, attention. No, definitely turned in a bit early. Okay. We are now home. I quickly unloaded it. I had to put a carpet over it because impending rain clouds on their way in. I'm trying to move this across. Princey was gonna quickly come over and it's been like 10 minutes already so I'm gonna give him a call in a second ask him where the hell he is because I need his help to push this car further across the garage and then we'll be able to get 350 in I'll be able to get these rear quarters off and we'll get started on these rear quarters and I'll give Russ a call and send when he's seeing when he's gonna come around and we're gonna do the wiring on this 86 and I want to get start getting onto the whole dash situation which I'm not looking forward to but I need to do but I want Russ to be here before I just go basically ripping it wires and stuff. All right, so this is Scarlett's current, was her current drift cart, which was 48 volt or a thousand watt, and it worked really well. Good amount of lock. Lock. We had to grind. Went full lock bit. and would rub. Yeah, we actually need more of a lock stop on the left side. It's actually got too much lock. All we need to more offset or something. Anyway, but this is the trike that Mitch has given us F for free. We're trying to get the electric start to work. We're basically trying to work out to get it all working here. Then start cutting it up, cutting this up and making them one. Yeah, do you want to put your finger on that one? Keep going. I don't think it worked. So we have the back of the electric cart, so the electric motor, and that's where all the batteries were. That all got destroyed when Scarlett crashed it, when she did. Um, Kobe's chilling out over here in our oh, base of a thing. 
but uh, what do we need to do? So we need to fab up at a throttle. Yeah, I need to do something with the throttle. We need to get brakes and basically connect the back of this <laughs> to that. And we got it starting off the start too. Yeah, and we want to. It's got an electric starter, so we want to make the electric electric starter work. We did have it going, but the way it's looking, it's looking good. But I really think we need to now widen the front. Yeah. Yeah, I think we do. You're right. I can't right. say you're wrong. So and realistically, and lock wise, the only thing stopping us from getting more lock is the frame. So once we go wider, we can potentially like be like. Wise Fabby. We yeah. can shorten the knuckles. Yeah. Not sure if you're going to edit this out or not, but like, this was made in China. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. You alright, Kobe? Kobe's gone. <laughs> nope, well, not good. Um, but yeah, so we need to good add time. a bit more lock, I think, which will make it even funner for the kids. And in general, just... Um, yeah, probably add more, more, the thing is more width as well, less chance of doing roly polies, which I'm happier oh. with, you know what I mean? Yeah, it is your daughter. Yeah. Well, and then you know Boston, Boston. what do you mean eventually? Then, Boston, yeah, Boston size he is now is when Scarlett used to drive this. Yeah, and then eventually him. Yeah. I, look, I really think we should put bars like there. No, we need to do like it. Like full. Uh, up to like here thing. Yeah, well that, yeah. Yeah. But Let's even get, if we just Yeah, go, but once we got the back on, we can potentially do that. Work it out, yeah. All right, this is a fun little project, I think. Yeah, I'm liking it. Huh? I'm liking it. This is me. This is you? Yeah, I like this shit. Yeah. All right, we'll see how we go. I need to get like a mini bride, hey. <laughs> how sick would a mini bride <laughs> be? be sick. But this seat, see the thing is about this car, it's not designed for kids as such as... I used to ride this, used to ride it. Basically, we've we adjusted it so the steering wheel sits lower for the kids, but the steering wheel normally sits like up here. That's where the um, accelerator and brake usually are. So, like an adult can, um, yeah, Chop did the brake pedal because Scarlett never had a brake. Yeah, she could reach it. Um, but now they, yeah. So this thing is usable for adults, so. Maybe we don't want to put a little bride in it. The seat that's in it's now fine. Yeah, we fit, in, we now fit in now. We can still have a go because it's going to be sick. Once it's got a cage in it, are we going to be able to get in? It's going to be like getting in a mod light. <laughs> Look, no. Damn it. <laughs> What's the plan? Um, see if we can get it to do a run. Maybe a backfire. Go on. Good old cable tie on the positive, should yeah. be. Got a little bit of throttle. Yeah, maybe a little bit of throt. Alright. Maybe should we turn it? I don't know which way the choke goes. Can you see if you're going in? Maybe there's not. Oi! Yeah, it's in gear. Oh, okay. It's in gear. That's probably why it's banging and clanging. Well, I don't know, maybe go forwards? Ah! Oh, hey, one thing has led to another. Luke. And this is where Luke. we have got to. Look at this. It's <laughs> sick. It's sick. Oh my God, this thing looks amazing. Luke. It doesn't even look Luke. bad. It's worked out good. What's up, buddy? Um, why does Boss have a Lightning McQueen bed? Because Lightning McQueen goes faster. <laughs> um, so this is our current setup. I think this is what we're going to go with. We haven't um, started to weld yet, but... Uh, this is looking pretty good. We're gonna, we've got a spot to mount everything like our really our only complication now is literally just mounting a throttle cape right a throttle. Yeah, we need to come up with some sort of throttle to mount up there like the cable that will be long enough. Everything's gonna be sick. And it's good for the kids because I can't get to the gear shifter which we actually don't know how to use yet. <laughs> <laughs> so what we believe we believe it's the motor off a quad because apparently it has a reverse. 
Look, if that's coming from Mitch, I mean, he may have been drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Um, but I'm, dude. Dude, this is gonna be sick. This is gonna be. This is gonna look so amazing with Scarlett and Boston ripping on this thing. Yeah, it's oh so my long god, too. we're gonna have to do like a proper roll cage because this looks sketchy. Yeah, yeah. 100 gonna have to do a proper roll cage. Hey, wait, why does that monster truck in it? <laughs> it's got a car in there. Is there? Yeah, from Kobe. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't a big bang or anything. It was like. It was. A it wasn't like a Big Bang Theory bang, but it was like... You really want to get me started. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the whole universe was in a hot dead state for nearly 14 billion years ago. Expansion started, wait! Yeah, began to call down shots again as well in the end. Man. I was not talking about that. That's <laughs> sick. <laughs> Bloody you got that also for mine. <laughs> That's the good thing about us staying home. Yes. Oh, we were doing this anyway. All right, this is where we've got to on the go-kart build. It is attached now. Um, not very good, but it's attached. Yeah, it's attached. Um, we found out that we have reverse gear. We also obviously have some up gears. Yeah. We have a start thing here. Oh, the battery's not hooked up. No, the battery's not hooked up. Um, we need to do some, we need to mount a battery. Mount, probably get a bigger fuel thing, I reckon. We've got one at the track, but I mean, I'm more thinking about it. What? Needs to do a sahi can. Yeah. 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 So we're going to do something different with the fuel system. And then we need to work out what we're doing with the exhaust. Because we're thinking of doing like a Bozuzuku style. Like up high. But we don't know. Um, and we need to fabricate a throttle. And also work out our brakes. But not bad for an afternoon's work. Yeah. Brakes will be easy. The line's just not long enough. Okay. I think we're pretty happy with where we've got to so far, so we will catch with you guys again tomorrow and continue doing this vlog because we did a live stream with you guys and thank you so much if you did watch and even bigger thank you if you donated. Um, everything helps in these times and we do appreciate it and appreciate the support, you know, like obviously uploading every day is not easy. It is very much full time, so yeah. Oh, I'll drift 10 Goku gloves. These were five dollars at Tokyo Auto Salon. They're not driving gloves, they're mechanic gloves, but. Sure. They were five dollars. Yeah. I remember. At Tokyo Auto Salon. I remember. Remember? I remember. 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 I'm gonna cut your hair. Alright. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> Go and cut it off. They like that side better. I don't know why. The same thing is identical. Like I mean, they have the same. Make sure they didn't cut Daddy's ears off. <laughs> That's it. Do it like that. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Those scissors aren't very good, are they? No. Go get the shaver. Oh, there you go. Go get the shaver. You're going to be a hairdresser. Huh? Yeah? Well, guys, I am sick of my hair. It's very hot and we want to get rid of my hair. So you do it, like, turn it around. Like that. And just get my hair. Oh, my God. You having fun? Yeah, I'll go lower so you can reach it. Getting a lot. Yeah. There you go. Oh my! Balls now. <laughs> I see some balls today. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> I don't want you to be bald. Well, you're making me bald. Oh, there you go. <laughs> that is gonna be bold. <laughs> Alright, that's it, we're all done. Nice and cool now, I'm happy.
Tell off you guy. Yeah. It's a delivery, not a social visit. Um, yeah. You bought it for Prince and Jenny before, for us. I also took him onion rings as well. <laughs> <laughs> so I what? I didn't tell you that. <laughs> what? Onion rings? Yeah, he bought us a bag of onion rings, frozen onion rings. They look really good. You might share them if you're nice. That's, I'll get some of them anyway. It's yours. Thank you, delivery guy. Share my VB delivery guy, guy, coffee yours. coffee guy, delivery That's guy. That's the last one. Huh? This is? Yeah. Is that why it says W on it? Yeah. Oh. And, and this one's got L. Yeah. All right, so Princey's here, still working on the trike this afternoon. We pretty much had mostly a chill day today, but we're working on the trike still. Oh, not a trike, sorry. It's a drift, drift go-kart now. Um, I've gone to the track. I've brought home some wheels. I want to try on the 8.6, which I know will fit the 8.6, but I won't try them today necessarily, but I brought them home so I could try them brought in my pump and then I brought home a bunch of spaces because I want to fix the front fitment on the Skyline. Skyline. I want to fix the front fitment on it and I think it'll look a bit cooler at least with the front fitment sorted out. So we're going to try that. So that's current fitment. I'm feeling like a slip on GK Tech slip on should do the job to make this look a little bit nicer and then I'll have to uh, talk to my friends at Shockworks and try and get some coilovers for this Johnny because man I've been watching some videos with ones that are lowered and they look so good so good so not quite that's like a flush unfortunately I couldn't put any of the GK Tech ones on uh, because there's not enough stud so I've had to just put the little um, little blue ones on and all my bolt-on spaces are actually big I, I don't think I won't be able to put like 30 mil bolt-ons on this because then they'd be way out the guards but with just that little slip on on it has made a difference like going side to side like that's sunken and then this side is like flush so it's better than it was but not as good as I'd hoped Coffee guy, say hi to your mum. Hello. Hi mum. Sorry I'm not home to help clean, it's... He's still, I he's still here delivering a coffee. I finished work five <laughs> hours ago. <laughs> I'm not here. <laughs> oh god. Who needs a bike? Oh, that's a good one. You got one? Yeah. Good <laughs> bike. Good bike. So good. Just notching, oh, oh you're a dickhead. It's really hot. Um, just notching some steely for some bracing. Oh, that oh mate, that was yeah. mint. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. That. That's sick. Hey, look, if you can step over it, you can load over yeah, it. Yeah, shimmy, we'll be right. That's, uh, that's a first class gusset right there. <laughs> yeah, that's sick. And it's I'm sick. not even mad, that's pretty good. Yeah. Like that? What does everyone feel like? Chicken tonight. <laughs> that's good, That mate. doesn't even look that bad. No, that looks good. I'm happy as with that. Like, like, look. Oh like no, what it. just happened? I'm not going to be starting work at like Triple Eight or any VX supercar team anytime or what, getting a chop on his toes at Black Arts by any means, but <laughs> my fabrication is good enough to hold the weight of my five year old, which is literally nothing. And, and to be fair, if she had a big enough crash, I'd probably rather the back end snap off anyway. <laughs> like if she hit something hard enough, it would be like a crumple zone, yeah? Yeah. If she hit something hard enough sideways, the back end just pops off, you know? <laughs> I'm not keen for that, but if it happens, whatever. We'll yeah. stick it back together. Yeah. <laughs> Strengthening bars. Or holes. Hey? Or, or strengthening holes. Yeah. Oh, is it blowing holes? No, it, just, it did a little bit there. I am. Um... All right, guys, I'm going to wrap up the vlog right there. Basically, the reason I've been a little bit quiet as far as taking the two days to get this vlog up is we've had family come in. Um, family from Perth are literally going to be living, one of them will be living with us. One of them, well, two of them will be living with Princey, but they're moved over from Perth. So just been catching up with them and just basically hanging out. So. Apologize for not getting a vlog up yesterday, but I hope you enjoy this one tonight or tomorrow morning whenever you're watching it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We're going hard on some other content uh, this week coming up. There's a lot on, there's a lot going on. 
and uh, again, just really planning for this full lockdown. But technically, Australia, we are under full lockdown now. So, anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hopefully, those window banners will be up for sale very, very soon. If not, they're already. Maybe just check the loopink.com or loopink.shop. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. Bye.